A section of MPs and successfully attempted to mobilize at least 232 MPs to meet the constitutional threshold to defeat the presidential memorandum that in effect scrapped the issues of retirement benefits to Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka until they quit active politics. It is this development that analysts argue fails to give political capital to the president since Raila and Kalonzo by law are entitled to their benefits for the service to the nation. Pension for Raila Odinga is for when he was a prime minister. He's not going to contest to be a prime minister. The vice president served his term. He is not going to contest in 2017 to be vice president. If he gets the job, he'll be a deputy uh, president or he'll be a president. So in one way or another, legally, they are entitled to their pension. Analysts now say the onus is with parliament to consider amending the act to see that the two get their dues. That law might also be exposed to an amendment because once the law has come into force within six months, it can still be brought to Parliament for amendments. Constitutional lawyer Dan Stenomari says the move may appear as a political play to eliminate his competitors in 2017, but warned it may work against his ambition to consolidate votes from regions that did not support him in 2013. One, these two are his uh, perennial co competitors. They are the people who are likely to give him a challenge in 2017. So he has every other way to ensure that he cripples them from uh, contesting. Omari, however, says the inclusion of former Vice President Moody Awari, as well as other state officers, was a political move to gain a foothold on some communities, but one way which may not yield much. The President wants to appease a wider constituency, because actually the law was too selfish. I'll agree with the inclusion of uh, Moody Awari. Yes. Moody Awari and, the, and, and Kalonzo Musioka are still were vice president. The speakers of the National Assembly held very senior positions. The debate in Parliament saw MPs from both Jubilee and Court united in opposing the memorandum, with some MPs arguing it painted the president in bad light. But those people who are misadvising the president to make him look petty, to make him look vindictive, are not doing us any good, are not doing us a service. No one under our laws, and it is in the Bill of Rights, and my colleagues have mentioned it, can stop anybody, anybody, from participating in political activities. Only 84 MPs were present in the chamber during the debate, which fell short of the 232 required to reject a presidential memorandum. If the president had assented to the initial bill, Raila would have pocketed 21.6 million shillings and earned a monthly stipend of 996,000 shillings for the rest of his life. Kalonzo, on the other hand, would have pocketed 19.8 million shillings and earned a monthly stipend of 880,000 shillings.